tracking your blog statistics with Google Analytics. So we've been talking a lot about you know, optimizing your site and promoting it and, and just getting it to come up for the search results. However, we're missing one really important piece and that is that we need to be looking at the traffic you're already getting and understand it because only by looking at it you know, can we better understand what's working, what isn't working, what we need to improve on, where we're losing people. And fortunately, Google provides a really great service that, that I use on all my sites and my clients' sites it's called Google Analytics. And essentially what this does is it takes your statistics and it makes it, uh, it summarizes things and I find it easy to understand. Uh, oftentimes, wherever your website is hosted, you already have statistics available to you, but Google Analytics is just really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you go ahead and use that. Uh, you can sign up for Google Analytics. Just go ahead to the search engine and type in Google Analytics. Or you can go into the book that came along with the videos and see the URL there, right there it is. You just come on here and again you sign up for a free Google account, it doesn't cost anything. And what the, what it's going to do is it's going to give you a piece of tracking code that you need to put on your site. Now fortunately there is a plugin that makes this easier for us. It's called the Google Analytics plugin. I'm going to go ahead and show you how that's configured. Okay, so when you sign up for Google Analytics, they're going to give you a little snippet of code, a number that identifies your account. Uh, you don't have to actually post the code into your website because we have a plugin that's going to do that for us. It's called the Google Analytics plugin. Once it's installed, you just click on it under settings. And right here, you go ahead and paste in your account ID. That's it. It's just a number that uh, Google gives you. It says what's this, and you can see here when you log into your account you can see right here it is this is what we're looking for starting with the UA and then paste it right in there and then go ahead and save it and then your Google Analytics will be configured on your site now if you like you can go in here and work with some advanced settings let me show you it kinda gives you some additional options actually it's not gonna let me do that because I don't have it configured here but it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you can just let it go at the default settings and you'll be fine, but if you want to, you can go in and do things like exclude yourself. So, in other words, whenever you go to your own site, it won't count you as a visitor, so that way you won't be dominating the results. You know, you'll know, you be stripped from it. So, that's how it works. In the next video, I'm going to talk about analyzing the statistics that Google Analytics provides.